hi friends hello so today we are going to design a disk structure this is g plus 23 structure story okay so vertically we building a design in four section so for story one to eight dead load is two kilometer per meter square and live load is five kilometer per meter square initially the dead load is for all the uh, story uh, is two kilometer per meter square only live load is deeper for like first story 9 to 14 it is 4.5 kilometer per meter square first story 15 to 19 it is 4 kilometer per meter square and first story 2023 it is 3.5 kilometer per meter square here here we are going to use the function of auto select property in e tabs so we will take three dimension for column and for beam and the software will auto select which one is best for design so here the column are 500 by 500, 550 by 550, 600 by 660 and for beam 500 by 300, 550 by 350, 600 by 400 and the grid when the grid of concrete is M40 and the grid of the steel is HYSD 500 mile to 50 rebar slab is 150 mm thick and M40 and here we use auto draw cladding from software and the load is 0.2 km per meter here we consider wind load and the place we consider is bank load ok let's start design ok let's start so first we go on file and select a new model so display unit will be metric SI and steel section data will be India the steel IS code is 800 2007 and the concrete IS code is 456 2000 select ok so number of grid in X direction is 4 going to design you need to plan and the spacing in both X and Y is 4 and the spacing is 6 in both direction X direction Y direction ok the number of story is 23 Typical storage size 3 and bottom storage 3. So, to use a similar story option for design, we will uh, manage the similar story like so 23 one is master story. So, When story 22 is similar to 23 so we will select here 22 uh, 23 23 23 till one section of the similar stories okay so your story 9 is other master story and the story 18 17 16 15 14 are similar to story 19 and here the story 14 is again a, a master story story 15 is a master story just refer the plan you will come to know that which one is same the story ok so now story 15 is similar to 14, 13, 12, 11 and 10 and 9 also Although this one is similar to option and master story, this select yes, which one you have to consider master story. Story 13, 12, 10, 9 are the similar story. Story 14. So again story 8 is master story now and story 8 to story 1 is similar to story 8 so we will change to story 8 from story 1 to 8 
let's all change the story from story 1 to 8 here the story master story is story 8 that's why we are changing to story 8 similar to ok now we have done with it so let's have a check so here this from starting we will check story 1 to story 8 is similar story and story 9 to story 14 is another similar story means other section of the building and story 14, 15 to story 19 is similar stories and the last section is story 20 to 23 then press ok then kids only then ok this one is 3d view this is our 2d plan view so first we are going to define a material so select india it's concrete indian standard indian and the grid is m40 45 ok m40 ok then press again ok and I will press add new material for rebars we will select indian standard indian and the grade is hysd grade 500 ok then again press ok again add a new material that is mild of 250 rebar so again send as indian and, and the grade is mild to 50 then press ok then again okay so here we have defined concrete and rebar material so now m40 hy is defined and mild to 50 here we have defined three material which we are going to use for design of this building on e tabs so again define a section properties frame sections so add a new property select a concrete rectangular, rectangular section for column first we will define a column section and here we are using a similar property we will define more than two that is three column um, so let's give the property name c 50 by 500 by 500 and change the material to m40 and change the dimension of the column that is depth and width according to the dimension what we have taken okay then modify the rebar that is in longitudinal bar it is hysd 500 and for contaminant bar it is mile to 50 sector rectangular and the okay okay Clear cover is 40 mm according to IS code, which is selected automatically from the software. So instead of creating new property, just add a copy of that material. So here we have to just change the dimension automatically. All the things will get like before. Okay, change the call depth and width by 550 to 550. Here automatically, automatically the longitude bar has been selected and contaminant bar also selected. Okay. Again, add a copy of property for third column section. That is six hundred by six hundred. Change the depth and width. Here automatically the material and the rebars are se selected for longitudinal and for a confinement bar, confinement bar also. Okay. 
now we are going to add a beam section we here add three beam sections and we will add a new property of auto select then software will automatically select the back section while designing so do like same or change the depth and width and modify shri bar and here select the beam type first we will select the shaded bar it is xyz 500 and confinement bar is mic to 50 the design type is beam and the spacing according to the is code is 25 mm okay then press ok so just add a copy of property for next to beam section just do it with a similar ways we are like we have done last beams and column just change the property name and automatically material will be selected just because we have add a copy of material just we have to change the dimension so here we will change only dimension depth and width rest of the thing will be same as earlier as last beam we have designed defined Is okay change the depth to 600 by 400 and width is 400 depth to 600 okay So here we have defined the column and beam sections. Now we will define a property of similar story. Just we have we will here add a new property and select special auto select property. So give the property name here we are first we will beam auto select we will put all the beam section in this property to auto select by the software okay auto select design type is concrete so we will select all the beams like third beam all the all the beams okay so here we have added a new property of beam auto select and again add new property for column auto select so here we will uh, select three column we have defined give the property name to column auto select okay select the all third call So here we have created a beam and column auto select property. So now we will define a slab property. So section properties, slab section, add new material, add new property. First give the slab name that is slab 150. We are going to give select the slab material that is M40 and thickness of the slab that is 150. Then press OK okay so here you have to find beams columns lab everything so now we will draw a beam and column what we have defined earlier using first we will draw column we will quick draw column so we have selected quick draw column change the property to define property we will select a auto select option column auto select 
we have create a property define a property of auto select column by defining three uh, dimensions of column so we will go on first floor and okay so we will on first floor and, and change to a similar story option so if when we will draw a column or beam it will change to all similar story it will apply to all similar stories of the building okay just right click of mouse and scroll in right hand side and the column is drawn you can refer the plan to get the details of the uh, building and according to the reference you can draw it so now we have selected a a quick draw beam option and we are changing the property to auto select beam what we have defined earlier we have selected beam auto select now we will draw a beam by using similar story option so we have drawn the beams and column of first phase of our structure that is floor 1 to 8 now we will draw a slab using quick draw slab option just go and draw floor wall object and select the quick draw floor object option okay select the property what we have defined which is slab 150 So we have drawn slab, column, and beam on the first phase of the structure. So just uh, move on to next part of the building. That is uh, after story eight, which is we have selected nine. So second phase is between nine to fourteen, I think. You have ref you can refer the plan. So. So again, we will draw using quick call, quick draw column option. Now we will use shortcut what we have on the left hand side of the screen. So the property has been automatically selected. That is column auto select, which we have used earlier for previous designs of the building. So just now we will draw the column. as for the plan we have found column okay so now we will go for quick beam draw option I will draw slab using quick draw slab option. We will use shortcuts to take uh, command. Here we have drawn slab. So we have drawn column beams and slab for this phase of the building. Now we will move to next phase. Select any of the floor which is similar to. We will select fifteen, and what we will apply it will apply to whole similar story, which is similar to story fifteen.
so we have drawn thick columns and then using thick draw columns and thick draw beam option of by from the predefined properties what we have defined earlier now we draw a slab now we have drawn slab also We are drawing column using the draw column option as previous we have drawn and pick drop beam option for beams and for slab also pick draw slab option. So we have drawn the beams column is left for the building. We'll move on to story one. Okay, it's story. We have drawn all columns in the of the building of the structure. Now we will chain all these joints on the base mesh to fix support. So we we'll select one story option first. Select the joints of the base mesh. I mean, okay, we will assign a restraint of thick support. We are going assign join restraint and thick support. So we will select apply then OK. So these joints have been applied. They are applied by thick support. So now we will draw a gliding, it is auto gliding using floors auto draw gliding from the function auto draw gliding. So here we can see that the software has been drawn automatically a gliding of to a whole building. So now we have done with the column beams and cladding. So now we will apply the load, dead load or live load on the structure as per the plan. So you have to refer the plan. Okay. We will go on story one. We will start from story one that we have three phase of building like three building have a three phase different phases so we will go on story one we will select like a similar story sorry first we will select all story for dead load we will go on load pattern first we will see here that is how there is defined dead load and live load which is automatically has been defined by the software for wind load we will add the wind load so now here we will select this lab one by one so you can show the in bottom which it, it was showing how many you have selected uh, 147 cell 58 ages we have selected now we will go on assign shell load frame load sorry shell load and in this uniform load so we will apply 2 kN per meter square 
dead load no hold structure so we have applied okay then close okay so here we can see that two kN per meter square dead load is applied on the structure so now we will select the option to save the storage because the live load is different for different phase of building so here we will select change to live load and the live load is 5 kN per meter square then apply then ok ok we have not selected the slab first we will go and select the slab don't forget to select the slab otherwise load will not assign so we are selecting one by one carefully don't select the uh, corner edges only the slab shell load we form load we will change to live load and 5 kN per square applied and press ok so we can see that 5 kN per meter square live load is applied on the slab then press ok again we will move to next section of the building that is 9 store we have selected ok we will go on assign shell load first we will select the slab ok we have selected we will assign when shell load uniform live load that is 4.5 and apply so we have applied now you can see that we have applied ok on the center of the slab it, it was showing that is 4.5 so we will move to the next section next phase of the building We will first select this lab. We will go on assign shell load uniform we will select live load and 4 kN 4.0 kN per meter square applied ok so we can see that 4 kN per meter square live load has been applied on the slab of the building so now we will move to next phase that is last phase We will select any of the floor of that phase. Our structure is divided in three phases. So we will select we will select the floor, sorry, slab and apply a live load. Three point five kN per meter square. Apply and then press OK. So we will come to story one okay so we have applied a dead load live load to whole building so now can we can see also by using display option load assign and shell go to uh, just we will have set a dead load apply so we can see that uh, 2 kN is showing we have applied 2 kN dead load we can see that by using a display option now we will see a live load then press apply okay so uh, if we have here applied 5 kN per meter square, we can see that. Okay, then press OK. Likewise, we can check for all floats of the building. So now we will apply a load on the uh, outer side of the beam that is a cladding load. 
जीरो पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर पर डे उसका पर मिनट डिस्क है सो वी आर सेलेक्टिंग द कॉर्नर बीम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर आउटर कॉर्नर फ्रेम लोड्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड एंड विल अप्लाई अ जीरो पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर पर मीटर प्लस अप्लाई then okay so we will move to next section again we will select the outer beams of this building and apply a load of 0.2 km we will ha we have selected same the story option Select the outer beam carefully. Don't select any joint or a slab. So we will move to next section of the building. Again, we will select the outer beams. Then apply a load. Same load. Distributor we will apply the same load zero point two kilo per meter square. We will move the last phase. Again, we will select the outer beams. And apply a load of 0.2 kilonewton per meter. Apply. Then press OK. So we have applied a 0.2 kN per meter on outer beams. That is a, a cladding load on the structure. So we have applied a dead load live load on the whole structure. So we will del delete the load from the top story rate 23 of cladding load because. On the top floor, there is no load of no load of cladding on the top floor. That is twenty third floor. So we will select and delete the cladding from twenty third floor. So we have, we can see that here is that load of 0.2. That is a colliding load on the 
outer beam so we will delete this load now we will see you select one story option because we have to delete a load on only top story that is 23rd story we don't want to go for single story all story frame load distributed load again we will just delete the example but okay apply okay so first we have to select it we have not selected a uh, beam so first we will go and select the beam otherwise it will not delete so select the outer beam again Select the outer beam of 23 third floor. So we have deleted successfully the cladding load from the 23rd floor. okay so uh, now we will apply a load pattern and we will add a wind load because we are going to apply a wind load on the building is we will set the is code also that is 18875987 and modify the lateral load so here we will do one by one consideration using is code so first for wind speed we will go on is code and uh, we will go on is code and our structure is and is in bangalore so the wind speed is 33 we can see on is code by opening the is 875-1987 part 3 you can refer this while drawing code of practice for design load and other than artifact for building and structures sorry we can see that uh, the, the wind speed is 33 and carrying category is 3 we can uh, you by select by using is code uh, this term is come under category 3 so we can use reference of is code here in all clothes you can find all things to design a frame so here is category 3 terrain with a numerous closely spaced obstruction having the size of building structure up to 10 meter in height without a few isolated tall structure so this uh, for this structure it is 3 and the structure class is C because the structure is more than a uh, limit of structure B with the height And the rig coefficient is 1 uh, according to the IS code. So we can, you can take a reference of IS code by taking a risk coefficient, you will find the things. Here it is not possible to 
look at exactly on by using in computer you just refer you will get all the things Uh, topography is also we will take consider one we are considering a, a building life is 50 years so we will select one it, this also this also will be taken from the reference of is code then this ok then we will go on plan we will go on story one or base story so we can see a elevation view before we have to apply a wind load that is a lateral load to a building from windward and the leeward direct in, in windward and leeward direction so display undeformed shape here we are showing the dead load and everything we have applied so now it was not swing so we will select all story option we will select one by one carefully we have to select the so we have selected section A Now we will go on the table for wind coefficient to find the wind coefficient it is basically the uh, ratio of the height is to width of the building according to that we will find so we have to take a ratio of height and height and height of the building and width of the building so by that we can we can come to know that what we have to take a wind coefficient so here it lies between this for with this structure so we will take a 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8 0 0.25 0 0.8 according to the requirement here is the surface a b c d okay so we have taken a surface a on the plan just gonna assign shell load and wind pressure coefficient already wind load pattern has been selected to wind and then coefficient 0 0.8 and windward direction then plus apply then press ok so we have applied a 0 0.8 wind coefficient to structure So we will move to next one that is B elevation next elevation that is B and here is the same wind coefficient because that is in the same direction we will apply the wind coefficient very finely very cool I select the carefully select so we have selected carefully all frames frame loads shell, shell loads and wind coefficient wind pressure coefficient 
2.8 apply okay and press okay so we can go on story one and we can see that here applied loads on leeward direction oh, sorry in windward direction so we can see on window we are applied on elevation A now we will go for elevation B for in leeward direction to apply a in pressure coefficient on leeward direction we will go on elevation A and we can see that we are applied on A hello so we are applying here a lateral load on the section side according to the uh, plan or is code in leeward in width and in windward direction So we are applying on C elevation view. We are applying a wind pressure coefficient on elevation C. So we are selecting carefully and we will apply it according to our IS code.
so here we have applied all lateral load on each elevation section of the building in like uh, in a b c d and one two three four in all sections so here we can you can see that in window uh, here in both side the lateral load is applied that is wind pressure coefficient on each face of the building you can see on the window like so you can check it or in any floor by using the uh, by sel selecting a plan view option you can go in any plan of any floor you can see in all floors the lateral load has been applied that is wind pressure coefficient So here we have done with the all lateral loading. Now we will extrude the 3D view by using that on this option. So we have done a frame object. Okay. So you can view in 3D that it's looking nice and listen quite good. So this is our structure plan. So now we will run our analysis all we have done like uh, we have applied that door like all things we have done so we will run analysis so analysis has been started So analysis, analysis has been done. So here we can see the deformed shape of the building for slab and beam and column. So if we will touch anywhere, it will show your deform uh, details of the failure. So we will go on display and we will go on CL stresses and forces. So here we can see a stresses and forces diagram like for F maximum we will choose apply. So we can see the shear, shear force maximum. Likewise, we can see of uh, all for all elements. We can just have to select on the component and press apply, then press OK. So you will got a result on a 3D view. By using graph, you can identify your.
so we can go on this tier and if you want to see a vending moment diagram and a, a, a share maximum moment or shear force diagram you can just you will see this you have to select of any column and below the structure and we got we will get all the details so here we have selected a beam 23 at storage 12 so you can see the we can show your loads shear force diagram moment diagram deflected shape of that beam you will get all the details with the values so here we have selected a beam 9 at to 10 so you can here also we can see all the uh, values of like shear force and the moment and everything so now we will move to design we will go on uh, we will click to design reference and we have we must select highest 456 2000 for for indian design code and we, then we will press ok now we will go and we will start design check So here we will go for design check when we have started a design check so you can see in the 3d tab it was showing with the red blink in one the software is analyzing the beams column of the structure one by one it will take few time few minutes or few seconds to analyze is showing analyze and design section for a differ for 705 screen do you want to really take it like uh, software is asking to uh, change the dimension of the beam and call we, we will change the dimensions of beams and column and we have selected the auto select option and then uh, we have selected a three three cross section of the beam and column so software will automatically go for next bigger dimension for the of a beam and column and it will uh, run analysis again and it will uh, go for again design automatically by itself So here again is showing the section of for 10 concrete frame. Do you want to really create analysis and design? We will select yes. Again, software will go for auto select beam, auto select option to select a beam and column. It will again select next higher dimension for a beam and column, and it will run again analysis by itself automatically.
again here is showing 10 concrete frames do you want to load liquid now we will select no okay so now we will we will go on design and we will uh, verify all member has been passed or not if it is not passed then our design is failed if it is passed then our design is success passed okay verify all members here it is so all my friends has been passed for design check so here we have completed design the g plus 23 building so we have done the design and we are, all the member has been passed by so as according to is code okay so we have done the design thanks for watching this my video and we will go for details like we will select for any column or any beam in a 3d type we will get a detail like this here is the detail of every beam of every column or for each member of our structure like what is shear stress what is the bending movement what is shear force everything you will get likewise we can go for a report also in further step we will see how to uh, create a report in attacks So this is our final project report what we have designed for this structure that is G plus 24 G plus 23 structures we, we can we can we can get all the details from this report so we have completed our design thanks for watching